Like the last two records, we started creating the music that would become Vengeance Falls shortly after the previous one came out. It pretty much just starts off like we start touring for the record that we just put out, and then about near like maybe halfway to I guess three fourths through the tour cycle, we start just writing ideas and putting I guess demos together of uh, potential songs for the. the the next album. I find that the worst time for a band to write material is during quote writing time, to set up time that you're going to sit there and write. I find that it always ends up a little bit contrived and forced and the way we like to do it is when we feel creative, take advantage of that creativity. While we're on tour in the dressing rooms um, and just whenever you got free time either on the bus or day off in a hotel. Initially what we do is one of the three guitar players, Paolo, Corey, or myself, will record a riff or a collection of riffs of the entire song to something like Apple Logic or Pro Tools or GarageBand and work the song from there, passing it back and forth from different band members. And when it came time for Vengeance Falls, same thing. We had a little bit more of a, a kind of like, like a collective idea of what we were looking to do with the record. So we kind of had like a basic kind of like I guess, like, guidelines. Disturbed brought us out an Australian tour with SLA Dying, and that's when we were just finishing up In Waves. The next tour we did together was Mayhem, pretty much immediately after Australia. So we had a copy of In Waves, gave it to David, and said, hey man, this is just a thanks for bringing us out, and hope you dig it. The last day of Mayhem, David came up to me and said, this album is a greater jump than you guys have ever taken before, and I feel like together we can make something really amazing. And that was kind of that, and we were, we were kind of curious what that meant. We weren't sure if that meant collaboration or writing together. Or we weren't really aware that he was a producer at the time. So we hung out with him on the next tour we did in the U.S., and he was explaining that before he always did the production stuff with Disturbed, and that he had just worked on production with a new, pro uh, new project called Device. He showed us the Device stuff, and as soon as we heard it, we knew in our heads, yeah, this guy's a producer. I found the strife on me, 